who will in turn create real employment. And when you are employing civil servants, don't just end at employing the health sector to employ the teachers. You should extend it even to the agricultural sector. There are those that have not done medicine, those that have not done. What are you doing about that? We are proposing to you a single step, but can you approach be holistic? Can it be all encompassing? So that even those who are at NRDC, even those that are doing uh, carpentry, building at these uh, colleges, can also be enveloped in the job creation that you keep on talking about every day. So we are proposing new employment, creating through prioritizing SMEs. Our ambition is to be deliberate in creating homegrown millionaires rather than seeking rather than seeking to help foreign entities to amass wealth at the expense of the majority citizens. The government must start looking at means of supporting value addition, especially within the extractive agriculture sectors as well as the mining sector, which seem to have received a lot of incentives under the current regime. We need to have a reciprocal arrangement in place that will pass on benefits only to foreign mining houses that do value addition in Zambia. Five, make CDF functional, address legal issues. While the increase in CDF is a welcome move, we in the citizen space have continued to contest that the manner in which it was implemented was rushed and shows clear lack of understanding of the way the government system operates. Our position is that government should have first started by harmonizing the ZTPA Act with the local government act so as to address some of the procurement challenges that have hit the CTF funds with some local authorities opting to break payment in order not to breach their spending threshold. 